Welcome back to Daytime Blue Ridge. Our station is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with a nacho bar. Jenna and I are in our break room. Jenna's already digging in. Yeah. What kind of nachos do you like to make? Ooh. Anything with cheese, guacamole, lots of lettuce, um... And I don't know. Are you a soft taco, nacho, I, hard taco? If we're going nachos, I like to, yeah, the corn tortilla chips and then all of the cheese, the guac. Oh, my goodness. I love it so much. So <laughs> you can go ahead and make these. I have a few fun facts to share with you guys today. So we just kind of wanted to know more about nachos. I guess they were invented just across the border from Eagle Pass, Texas in 1943. Kind of cool. They were named after the man who came up with the dish. It was a nickname for him was Nacho. Ballpark Nachos rose to fame in the 70s when an NFL sportscaster, Howard Cosell, he couldn't stop talking about them. And according to the Guinness Book of World Records, the largest nachos ever made was at the University of Kansas Stadium. It took 80 people to assemble. I would love to get in on that. <laughs> oh my god! A huge thing of nachos, <laughs> and then you can just eat your heart out. Yes. Oh, wow. So, what do you have going on here? So, of course, lots of queso. Uh huh. Um, you can never have enough queso. Some guacamole on the side, and then I'm not a super fan of like really hot hot sauce. So I'll probably go with the mild salsa. Yes, me and too. And I like when it's chunky like this. I'm going to get in line as well. This is so nice. I just love our station that we're doing this. We've got it all decorated. And we should say there are a couple people standing behind the camera right mm. now. Suzanne, thank you. <laughs> she cooked all this up for us and it looks incredible. So thank you so much. For, yes, for it oh, does. Oh. <laughs> and we have a really nice break room. I mean, this is this is a great setup here. So I hope you guys at home can join in on the fun today. I guess we're celebrating it today, but it's going on all month. As you heard Alexis say, the mid-October is kind of when it wraps up. But any day is a good day to eat nachos, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, grab a plate and join us.